Keto is short for ketosis, the metabolic process that kicks in when your body runs out of glucose, its preferred energy source, and starts burning stored fat. Your body may go into ketosis after just 12 hours of not eating, which many people do overnight, before they breakfast with a morning meal. Ketosis is a normal metabolic process that provides several health benefits. During nutritional ketosis, your body converts fat into compounds, known as ketones, and begins using them as its main source of energy. Ketones are also known as ketin bodies. Studies have found that diets that promote ketosis are highly beneficial for weight loss, partly due to their appetite-suppressing effects. Research also suggests that ketosis may be helpful for type 2 diabetes and neurological disorders, among other conditions. That said, achieving a state of ketosis can take some work and planning. It's not just as simple as cutting carbs. Anyone who's tried different weight loss diets is probably familiar with their pitfalls. Low-calorie diets often leave you tired, hungry, and cranky. Low-carb or keto diets can cause cravings and constipation. Low-fat diets are also tough to follow, and contrary to popular belief, they do not seem to prevent cardiovascular disease. Another diet trend, intermittent fasting, takes a different approach. Rather than limiting what you eat, this diet limits when you eat. For some people, that change may be easier to manage. Short-term studies suggest that people stick to intermittent fasting diets as well as are better than they do to other diets. And according to a 2019 review article in the journal Nutrients, intermittent fasting promotes weight loss and may reduce risk factors linked to heart disease, including diabetes, high blood pressure, unhealthy blood lipid levels, and inflammation. Periodic fasting triggers the same fat-burning process that occurs during a low-carbohydrate or keto diet. Keto is short for ketosis, the metabolic process that kicks in when your body runs out of glucose, its preferred energy source, and starts burning stored fat. A midnight snack obviously sabotages this process. A keto diet keeps you in ketosis for much longer time periods because you avoid carbohydrates, which supply glucose. Instead, fat becomes the preferred fuel source. But some nutrition experts worry that keto diets, which typically include hefty amounts of meat and eggs, may be hard on the heart. Intermittent fasting is likely a healthier option. Especially if you eat a balanced diet that includes whole grains, nuts, legumes, fruits, and vegetables, which are rich in nutrients known to lower heart disease risk. You could start by trying a 5-2 diet or time-restricted eating. Once you start losing weight, you can gradually introduce more healthy foods. If you want to give intermittent fasting a try, make sure to discuss it with your doctor first. Skipping meals and severely limiting calories can be dangerous for people with certain conditions, such as diabetes. Some people who take medications for blood pressure or heart disease also may be more prone to imbalances of sodium, potassium, and other minerals during longer than normal periods of fasting. In doing the fast correctly, and ensuring that it is aligning with your mind, body and soul, you can expect a good weight loss of anywhere between 2 to 6 kilograms a month with excellent inch loss and increase in energy levels and brain function. In any case, we get into an intermittent state of fasting overnight automatically. If you go to bed at around 10 p.m. at night and you don't eat breakfast until 7 or 8 a.m. in the morning, you are in a fasting state in any case. If you can extend this date by another 6 to 8 hours, then you will be able to see an even better effect. This basically means that if you finish eating your dinner by 7 p.m., your next meal will be around noon the next day.